had been studying the Andean tradition for a few years and had, had, hadn't been to Peru, probably about a year and a half, hadn't been to Peru. And when I actually got there, I found that the um, indigenous tradition that I had been told about and talked about in the United States was not exactly the same as what was actually happening there in Peru, especially with the Caro. Um, <clears throat> so I decided that, I, uh, having been uh, in academia for a while, and um, just a stickler to kind of separate the wheat from the chaff in terms of what actually is true and not, uh, what's actually uh, overly interpreted um, or the overlay of kind of Western philosophy. I decided that I wanted to try to find out just what the, ch the truth was, what the real tradition was. And so I um, worked with anthropologist Oscar Munoz del Prado to interview the Pacos, uh, the mystics of Peru themselves to kind of get the information right from them and I was fortunate enough to be able to do that so I interviewed them over four days and that turned into the book originally called Keepers of the Ancient Knowledge <clears throat> and when it was brought out in uh, trade paperback it, I updated it uh, added some additional information made, made some corrections and it came out as Masters of the Living Energy and that book is really just, uh, it's like someone's able to just look over my shoulder and listen as the Pacos talk um, <clears throat> to get the, their tradition through the lens of their life experience, um, the Pachamama that they're immersed in so deeply, um, their worldview, their cosmovision, um, from the most mundane to really the most metaphysical. So I try to really preserve their words, the spirit, uh, their hearts, as much as I could um, in that book, and be as um, to bring as uh, as little interpretation as I could to it. Although I did provide a lot of context for you know Western readers, um, <clears throat> but that was kind of like my homage to at that point. The I had been going to Peru for a few years, so it was kind of like my homage to the teachers. To, to honor what I had gotten from them because it had been a you know, life-changing experience for me. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons that book has been in print for so long is because it is just like sitting in circle with the Pacos and listening to them talk about their, their own life and their, their cosmovision and their, their, the spiritual arts of the Andes. So um, <clears throat> that's basically what that book is, is a series of interviews with six different Pacos. Um, and then the uh, contextual chapters, some uh, practices, some of the basic energetic practices of the Andes.